Hello and welcome to this infinitely virtual training video. In this tutorial we will be learning how to enable and utilize the remote desktop protocol on a Windows server. Please note that the remote desktop is a lot faster way of accessing a virtual server than using the virtual KVM console feature in the vSphere client. It is recommended that all servers are configured for remote desktop and that all server administration tasks are performed using the remote desktop. Log into your server using an account with administrator privileges. Click on the Windows Start button. Right click on the computer icon and click on Properties. Click on the Remote tab and put a check mark in the Enable Remote Desktop on this computer option. By default, all members of the Administrators group can connect using the Remote Desktop. If any users who are not members of the Administrators group need remote access, then click on the Select Remote Users button. To add a user, click on the Add button. Type in the username and click on the Check Names button. After the username is verified, it becomes underlined. Click on OK. Repeat these steps to add as many users as needed. When finished, click on OK. Click on OK to close the system properties. Once the remote desktop feature has been enabled, the server can be accessed via the server's public IP address from any internet connected computer using the remote desktop connection application. Remote Desktop Connection is part of both Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. To access the server using Remote Desktop from a Windows computer, go to Start All Programs, Accessories, Communications and click on Remote Desktop Connection. Type in the public IP of your server in the computer field and click on Connect. At the login window, enter your infinitely virtual login details. Remote Desktop Client for Windows 2000 or earlier and Mac OS X can be downloaded from the Microsoft website. For more information on virtual server hosting, office virtualization, or cloud computing, please visit www.infinitelyvirtual.com.